surely something we are going to have to do more road trips in November. Look at this! Ah, you couldn't wish for it any better in midsummer. Okay, it's a little bit cooler, but I don't mind that. We're not here to sunbathe, we're here to find some great driving roads, and that's what today is all about. We have actively come to Monte Carlo to use it as a base for a road which is known as the D2202. I call it the Red Rock Road for obvious reasons, but look where we're standing. This is right on the Fairmont hairpin. Uh, arguably one of, if not the most iconic corner in F1. Actually, it's quite funny because it's probably the slowest corner in F1 too, but uh, the great thing about being here in Monaco is that you're constantly reminded of how special it is in terms of F1 history. So the idea of today is that we're using Monaco as our base for the next two days, and today the sole purpose of it is to drive out up into the Southern Alps. I'm not gonna describe it to you just yet, but take it from me, if you're into driving and just beautiful scenery, this is definitely one of the best roads in Europe. So, without further ado, let's hop in our RS and do this. Before we get on the road properly, I decided to treat Rich to the hills above Monte Carlo to show him just how spectacular this place is. It's not all glitz and glamour down there. You can come up into the mountains and have a spectacular time just with these views. I mean, this is, this is November. <laughs> it's just... It is absolutely, it is every bit, if not as beautiful as when I was here in summer. I'm absolutely blown away. So, what's happened is Rich has made his way up the uh, mountain to try and get a nice photo vantage point. Well, not very, very, but uh, do not drive slow. <laughs> do not drive slow, got it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna doff the cap because I like to have the windows down so I can hear the engine resonating off the mountain walls. Seriously, I couldn't think of anything better to be doing right now. This is genuinely what my dreams are actually made of. Okay. <laughs> because it's really good, amazing. Um, well, I mean, I thought it would be good, even though it's not directly on our route. I remember being here from last season. Oh, I say last season, it was like April yeah. this year. And I just remember it being truly special, an epic yeah. vista. Did it live up to expectations? Oh, yeah, the, the crazy thing was, during the time we were there, yeah. I was obviously hanging about, taking some photos, and Lamborghini. I saw the Lambo go up. Uh, the, uh, the, the bright yellow yeah. Gallardo, I think yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, Did you see the Bentley, the Bentley yeah. soft top? The Bentley go soft out. top flew past me. That was pretty um, cool. I saw a Ferrari, and then I 
obviously you were flying up the van. It's pretty and cool. And it was an epic view of Monaco. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best bit though is on the way back down, when that view opens up, you go around that corner and the view just pops over. Oh, it's, it's very yeah, special, it's very, very cool. So but now we're actually en route to the place where we were initially supposed to be heading this morning. I call it the Red Rock Road. The actual road is called the D2202. Uh, last time I was, I was there, again, similar to that, utterly blown away, but it just lasts forever. It just keeps on going and going and going. And it gets super tight and really twisty, but the best thing about it is you can have loads of fun, even at like 50 mile an hour. You don't have to be going Sweet. super fast. I can't believe that one bit that literally snakes up the, yeah. uh, up yeah, the like road, that. man. Yeah, I'm keen pretty, for that, man. Pretty sweet, yeah. Huh? Well, I think the Red Rock Road is a better I, name than the D222. It's, it's definitely a lot catchier. It's definitely a lot catchier. Alright, man. Let's hit it. Okay, we have stopped because this is where the magic starts to happen. I've experienced some driving roads all over the world, but this is a road that I keep coming back to time and time again, because every time it absolutely blows my mind. And this is exactly the spot where the strata and the rock changes from normal rock to red rock. Look, we have this marking point here, which is this big, boulder and as you can see it literally goes from white to red rock right here this is the the exact point also at which driving nirvana unfolds believe you me what i'm about to show you i don't know it's actually one of the most unique strips of road that i ever seen um what i'm gonna do is shut up because you're probably just intrigued to see it let's jump in the car and give you a front row seat to this action This is it. As far as driving roads go in Europe, this is well, well, well up there with some of the very best roads that I've driven for sure. I'm not sure if I should talk you through it or just shut up and drive. But honestly, even in November, while this tarmac is cold, the front end of this RS is absolutely planted, like super glue planted. Beautiful. No doubt if we had some really hot, really sticky tarmac, it would be amazing. Oh, the resonations through these tunnels. Oh, it's so special. What's immense about this road in particular is that where it gets really tight and they've had to cut through with tunnels, they've made each tunnel and each bypass one way. 
So when it gets really tricky, you're not at the risk of meeting any oncoming traffic. Which when you're in a car like this, in situations like this, <laughs> it's absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Whoever, I mean, I, I assume whenever they built this road, the last thing they were thinking of is this will make a fantastic driving road. It was probably some old pass to get your horse and cart through. I mean, it's, it's that tight. But honestly, honest to God, when you get on it, when you eventually get on this road and you get up it and it's empty, and this time of year, this time of year is quiet. There's no one here. Well, they say a picture tells a thousand words and I've got 60 frames per second so I'm going to shut up, point you forwards and get on with this magnificent drive.